Today is Monday the 13th of November. It's the second week of the COP and the ministers have started arriving and we move into the political uh, sessions. Last week we didn't have a great deal of progress. There was some progress but uh, as always the technical negotiators can only negotiate up to a certain point after that uh, decisions on making compromises to agree with other countries requires political leadership. So that's what the ministers will do once they arrive here. And so this week we hope that the ministers will be able to come to a decision. In the meantime, we had our uh, two-day weekend event on um, Saturday and Sunday, uh, which is called Development and Climate Days, which IID has been doing for many years, uh, where we try to bring together all the people at the COP who actually work on the ground on uh, particularly working with the vulnerable communities and try to help them adapt to the impacts of climate change and build resilience. So that w event went very well. Uh, we had uh, record numbers of people attending. We even had to turn people away uh, because there were so many. Uh, and we had a very lively discussion and tried to now bring some of those messages into the COP process and in formal negotiations. But that's not an easy task. The formal negotiations are extremely rigid and uh, were bogged down in commas and words uh, for hours. Uh, it doesn't uh, open itself to practical discussions about what to do. But nevertheless, we will keep trying and supporting the work of the least developed country negotiators in that. So I'll report back on uh, what the political leaders are able to do later on this week.